So now let's do probability, which is question 12 and question 13. So the first question says, the word uh, pandemic is an important word used in the COVID-19 crisis in the world today. The letters of the word are randomly arranged to form a new arrangement. Then 12.1 says, how many unique arrangement can the letter make? So I draw this block so that you can guys see it visually on how to answer this type of questions. So we know the fact that in total pandemic has how many letters? It has eight letters, right? So we know the fact that it has eight letters. So if the letters were people, right? And this was eight chairs and one person basically sits in one chair. Then basically, you know the fact that if one person sits in this chair, which is going to be the amount of people that could sit in the first chair is eight, right? Then for the second chair, what's going to happen is already one person is sitting down. So the amount of people that can sit on the second chair is seven people. Since now we have two chairs, the amount of people that can sit on the third chair is six. Then the amount of people that I can sit on the um on the fourth chair is five then here's going to be four then here's going to be three and here's going to be two and here's going to be one so if you multiply this thing all together what do we see we see the fact that we have what factorial so this is the same as saying eight factorial and what's eight factorial is equals to forty thousand three hundred and twenty so now for 12.2 it says determine the number of unique arrangement of the letters that are possible if if the arrangement starts and end with P it starts with P and ends with C. So let's draw this um, part that I did on top. So what do they say? They say the fact that specifically it needs to start with P. So P is going to be here and it needs to uh, end with C, which is here. So from eight now, how many for the second part, how many letters do we have, right? We took out P, we took out C, so it's going to be 8 minus 6 minus minus 2, which is going to be equals to 6, right? So we have, for the second part, we have 6 options. So we have 6. Now we're going to have 5 options here because if we took out 1 from here, then here we're going to have 4 options. Here we're going to have 3, and here we're going to have 2, and here we're going to have 1. This is, if we multiply it together like this, this is the same as what 6 fits. Victoria, right so your answer here is going to be 6 Victoria, which is equals to 720 then the last part says 13 point uh, 12 point um, 3 says calculate the probability that you have randomly chosen a unique arrangement of the letters will start with P and end with C so a probability of what of start with P and end with C right what is that we're gonna take this one because that's the what you call this that is the arrangement when it starts with P and ends with P. So you're going to have this one as on the numerator. Then by the total arrangement, the total arrangement is this one, which is going to be 4,320. When you simplify this, you're going to get what? You're going to get 1 over 56, which is the same as 0,02%. So now question 13 says, each passenger on ABC Airway uh, flight choose exactly one beverage from tea, coffee, and juice and fruit juice the results are shown in the table below so we have a table below right so what do we know we know the fact that to find the total see the total the first total is for t then the second total here when i'm going horizontal right the first total is for t here and the second total is for coffee then the third total is for juice then vertically the first total is for males and the second total is for what is for is for females and the final total here is what is the total of the all the beverages and all the males and females so now to calculate a here it's going to be what it's either you're going to add this two or you add this three your choice so for 13.1 it says calculate a a is going to be equal to i'm going to just take the vertical uh, the horizontal one which is going to be 60 plus 100 which is equal to what a hundred and 60 right determine the probability that randomly selected passenger is male so where is male male is this one right we need the total the proper we need first the total to find the probability we need the total of male and the male is what 
is equals to 60. So we know that male, which is I'm going to say M, is equals to 60, right? So probability is what is what we want divided by the total. And our total here is what is 160. So the probability of M is equals to what? The males divided by the ultimate total, which is 160. And this will be your answer. Then they say given that a 13.3 says given that the event of passengers choosing coffee is independent of being a male and they say calculate for B. So what do we know? They say for what do they say? They want the probability. They tell us the fact that it's independent. Independent means what there's an intersection, meaning that ability they say the prop the event of passengers choosing coffee so i'm going to represent coffee as c the, the probability of c and what and m which is male so that's the probability of choosing coffee is independent to male when something are independent meaning the effect that there's an intersection that's why i said the probability of coffee and male right which is c is coffee and m is male so very important just state on top what c and what m so i'm going to say c is what is coffee and m is male right so the probability of intersection is the same as probability of c multiplied by the probability of what of M. This is the file is the formula for proving independence, right? So this is what we're gonna use. What do we need to know? We need to find the probability of what of C intersecting M, which in which a male choosing coffee and being male. So to find the intersection, right? It's we need to find where coffee and male intersect. So where's male? Male is this one, right? is this one and where is coffee and coffee is this one so we want we want where they both gonna intersect so i'm gonna draw a line going down like this and i'm gonna draw a line going down like that would you see there's an intersection here so the intersection is b right divided by the total so here it's gonna be what here it's gonna be b divided by what by the total which is 160 then now we need to find the probability of what the probability of coffee so what's the total of coffee? As I said, the fact that this is going to be coffee. So coffee is 80 divided by 160. So it's going to be 80 divided by 160 multiplied by male we already found, which is 60 divided by what? By 160. Punch this into the calculator. You're going to get B divided by 160 is equals to, is equals to 3 over 16. I'm going to cross multiply here. So you're going to find the fact that it's going to be 16B is equals to what? To 480. Then divide both sides by 16. B is going to be equals to what? It's going to be equals to 30. So B here, the number of what? The number, the intersection between male and coffee is actually 30 people.